the storm slammed the coast in the Philippine capital, battering Manila with heavy rain. Strong winds whipped up giant waves, the gusts up to 150 kilometers per hour, better than 90 miles an hour. Typhoon Nessat, or Typhoon Pedring as they call it locally, brought high water that nearly swamped motorcycle rider Ray Gonzalez completely. It was some of the worst flooding Manila has seen in decades. It's flooded everywhere. We don't have a place to go for shelter. Even my motorcycle got filled with water. Some of those who didn't manage to evacuate ahead of the storm were upset by conditions. A shuttered U.S. Embassy compound got swamped by water, in some places chest deep. Staff there had been told to stay home. A luxury hotel evacuated all of its guests after water flooded the pool and seeped into its spa and at least one of its swanky restaurants. A spokeswoman reported no injuries and said all were safely relocated. But that wasn't the case everywhere. Well over a dozen deaths were reported, mostly within the metropolitan area of the sprawling capital. President Benigno Aquino wasn't there to see it. He's been on a visit to Japan, but he told the AP he's confident the situation's under control. We have a National Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council that automatically meets um, in anticipation of things like this typhoon. So the, nobody's given me any reports with regards to uh, their inability to address the needs. The civil defense chief said authorities are still assessing storm damage, but he was heartened by the spirit and resiliency of the people. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.